Hello everyone, here is another Olympiad math problem. In this one, we are asked to find the, that's to evaluate this particular sequence that is given here. And of course, you know that um, this, from what we can observe here, this is just the square of the numbers and uh, there's an alternation of signs from minus to plus and so on. Okay, so, and you can see that the, uh, from what we have, the you have e an even number, the square of it minus an odd number, and so on. So we can actually pair this in twos this way. Okay, so the next will be 96 squared minus 95 squared down to the last pair. And the last pair is 2 squared minus uh, 1 squared. Okay, so what do we do with this? First of all, we must observe that uh, this has to do with the principle of difference of two squares. Okay, so basically it says that uh, a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b. Okay, so from here what it means is that we can quickly see that, for instance, when we are given 100 squared minus 99 squared, that this is the same thing as a uh, 100 plus 99 into 100 minus 99. And of course, we can see that this is the same thing as 100 plus 99, of course, multiplied by 1. Okay, so which will finally give us 100 plus 99. So I would like to leave it the way it is, of course, because we are going to make use of that later on so from what you can see here if you perform the same thing for the next number we or for the next uh, interval which is 98 squared minus 97 squared you will see that you will also get 98 plus 97 and if you continue that way you will keep getting the next one will be 96 plus 95 Next one will be 94 plus 93 down to 2 plus 1. Okay, so what it means is that if I have a squared minus, uh, okay, yeah, let me do it this way. Let me use n. So what it means is that if I have n squared, then minus the square of n minus 1. Okay, so we can generalize this concept. So what it means is that it is simply, now you can see it's 98 and then the next number is 98 minus 1. That's just why I'm generalizing it. So you can see that this is simply the same thing as the n plus n minus 1, okay, then multiplied by n minus n minus 1, All right? So if you open these brackets now, you are going to get n plus n minus 1. Of course, we can still leave this one here. <coughs> While if you open here now, of course, this is going to become n minus n then plus 1. Okay, so this will take away this. And so you will just have 1 left. And 1 multiplying this will still give you n plus n minus 1. All right. So the implication is that if I have... Uh, the difference of two squares where the first number is one greater than the other number that is subtracting just know that it is the same thing as this so whatever you are giving let's say 48 squared minus 47 squared so this is simply the same thing as 48 plus what 47 it's a generalization that we have achieved here the implication is that if you do that for the whole of the sequence that we are giving here that means here is then going to be 100 plus 99 this one will be 98 plus 97 the next one will be 96 plus 95 and so invariably is going to be 100 plus 99 plus 98 plus 97 down to 1 so is a very beautiful sequence and we can easily get the sum so in other words, we are only summing. Okay, and is it easy or is it possible to do this? Very simple. Of course, we can now introduce the concept of a sum of n terms of a sequence, which is given as a n over 2 
into 2 multiplied by a plus uh, n minus 1 multiplied by the common difference. And of course, from what we have in that sequence, we can see that our n, the number of terms is 100. Our a, the first term there is 100 also. And then our d, the common difference, you can see it is reducing by 1. So our common difference is negative 1. Okay, so if we make a substitution, so it implies therefore that our the sum of the first 100 terms uh, like we are giving there is going to be, that means 100 over 2 there, and that is multiplied by 2 multiplied in, multiplying, sorry, the first term, which is also 100, and that is plus the number of terms, which is uh, 100 minus 1, and that will give us 99 multiplied by minus 1. Okay, so this will be multiplied by minus 1. All right, so if we clear the brackets, uh, we are going to have this is going to be 50, and that is into 200, then minus 99. Okay, and quickly, it is easy to see that this is equal to 50 multiplied by 200 minus 99 is 101. And by the time we multiply 50 by 101, we are definitely going to get 5,050. And that gives us the solution to this problem as option C from what we have here. All right, and that is what we said to show you in this video. Kindly give, kindly give a thumbs up to this video. Do uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for this is where we end it for this video. Share this video to your friends. We'll see you in our next video. Bye.